Archer Aviation's stock just skyrocketed by 204%, only to plummet by 23% in the blink of an eye. What's next for this air taxi company? Today, we'll dive into the wild ride of Archer Aviation's stock, exploring what caused the massive swings and what lies ahead for the company in the EV toll market. Welcome to the channel. Archer Aviation has been on quite a roller coaster lately. Just in the first week of December, their stock took a big hit, dropping about 23.72%. This came right after an amazing climb of 148% over the previous two months. To give you a clearer picture, even with this recent dip, Archer's stock is still up 117.26% over the last three months. So far this year, it's gone up 18.89%, and in the past year, it's increased by 12.14%. Investors are definitely feeling the ups and downs with this new air taxi company. So. What's behind all this stock movement? Back in November 2024, Archer's stock soared by an incredible 204%. This jump happened for a couple of reasons. First, Needham, a well-known financial firm, started covering Archer and gave it a buy rating. This was a big deal because it followed the FAA releasing new rules for electric vertical takeoff and landing or EV tall vehicles, which opened the door for these cool aircraft. But then things took a turn when, in early December, the stock dropped 23.7%. Prior to this, Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares resigned, which raised concerns about Archer's partnership with Stellantis. Even with all the ups and downs, Archer's keeping its eyes on the long-term goals in urban air travel. They plan to kick off their flying taxi service in Los Angeles by 2026, aiming to offer efficient rides while cutting down on emissions. Right now, they're working on their midnight EV toll aircraft. Plus, Archer has lined up a massive $6 billion order for 650 aircraft a year by 2030. Getting FAA certification is a huge step for them, and they're looking to wrap that up by 2025, which would help them lead the way in the growing EV toll market. Archer's financial situation shows that they wrapped up the third quarter with $502 million in cash but they also faced a $115 million loss during that time. This has raised some eyebrows about how they'll manage their money moving forward, especially if they need to seek more funding. Investors are keeping a close eye on them since the company's financial health is super important for its growth and stability in a tough market. The EV toll market is really heating up, and the growing competition is making things tricky for Archer. As they chase their goals, they have to deal with a complicated regulatory scene. The FAA recently approved some special rules for EV toll aircraft, which is good news, but there are still challenges ahead. Countries like the UAE are moving fast, planning to kick off air taxi routes possibly before the US. This competitive vibe means Archer has to stay flexible and creative to keep their edge. Investor feelings about Archer are mixed. Needham's recent support gave the stock a little lift, but analysts are still being careful. They set a price target of $11 for Archer, pointing out the company's potential. Right now, Archer has a strong buy consensus rating, with four buy ratings and one hold rating. The average price target is $9.70, with estimates ranging from $4.50 to $12.50. Given how volatile the stock can be, potential buyers should tread carefully, especially with recent ups and downs tied to regulatory news and market feelings. The future for the air taxi market looks bright with big growth potential. In 2023, it was valued at $2.3 billion, and predictions say it could soar to $14 billion by 2032. This rapid growth is catching the eye of investors and companies alike. To really make the most of this growing market, Archer needs to focus on teaming up with other companies and getting their new products out there. As they navigate these exciting yet uncertain times, everyone will be watching what they do next in the evolving EV toll scene. What do you think? Will Archer's stock recover or are they in for more turbulence? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this interesting, check out our related video, Why is Archer partnering with airlines instead of innovating its own infrastructure? It explores Archer's strategy and its impact on the future of air travel.